My friends, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you all are doing well. What I have here in my hands is the Jovian four-person tent from One Tigris. Think of this as a four-person Cosmito tent. The Cosmito 2.0 is one of my favorite two-person tents at the moment. That means I have high hopes for this shelter here. This episode is all about this tent and we might as well get to it. Let's take a look at what's included if you decide to purchase this tent. Then we'll set it up, we'll take a look at it, go over the stats, I'll share my thoughts and feelings and impressions so far. That's what this episode's all about. Everyone, let's get to it. Let's get started. Let's see what's included with this tent. What we're looking at here, folks, is the storage bag for this tent. I want you all to focus right here on the side of this bag. It says, One Tigress Camping. Flipping this over to the other side, it says Jovian Camping Tent. That's right, folks. After begging One Tigress to label their products on the outside of the bag, they have finally done it. Awesome work, One Tigress. This really is important. When you have numerous brown colored tents, you need to be able to tell the difference between them. This is why companies label the outside of their tents with the name of the product. So One Tigress, they finally caught on good for them. With this tent here, if you decide to purchase it, this is what you're going to receive. You get the storage bag here that has two grab handles. Across the top, we have a single zipper. And here we have the tent itself and all of the components. On the inside, we have setup instructions. Here we have the tent body and you can see that we have two fabric compression straps. I really hate these, most people do. They're a waste, namely because no one is ever going to use these. It's a shame that the company did not include an actual compression strap with this tent. They should have because this just ends up in the garbage. It's just about worthless. Unrolling the tent here, we have tent stake skylines. We have tent poles. We have a ground sheet, which is really, really nice. Let's see. This is the fly here, and this is the tent body. This tent is huge, everyone. Right off the bat, everyone, these poles, I have to say, are very impressive. They are very, very thick. Much thicker than your average tent pole. Wow. To start off here, we have a large spider pole that connects in each of the corners. To complete the pole setup with this tent, we have one additional pole that goes across the top of the tent. And basically, it pulls out the sides. So here we have the Cosmito four-person tent all set up. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. The Jovian four-person tent. My mistake. Take a look at the size of this tent, everyone. It's a monster, and it really is a four-person Cosmito. The setup, the form factor, the overall shape of this tent is exactly the same as the Cosmito, with the exception of one thing. This is twice the size. So what we have here is a tent inner that is covered in mesh. We have two doors and a bathtub floor. The walls are pretty much vertical, and the sides here pull out thanks to that pole. Basically what I'm saying is this, there's a ton of space inside of this tent. How much? Let's find out together. As you can see here, we have extremely large doors. You can easily step into this tent. As far as the width goes, you are looking at 81 inches, which is six feet, nine inches. As far as the length goes, we're looking at 94 inches, which is seven feet, 10 inches. As far as the height goes, 
the peak height is 60 and a half inches, which is just a little bit over five foot. On the inside here, we have two large mesh pockets up at the top. Down at the bottom, we have mesh pockets in each of the corners. All of the seams are taped and we have a hook up at the top for hanging. And in fact, we have additional hooks in each of the corners for hanging as well. To attach the fly to the body, we have buckles. This makes the setup process very quick and easy. I have to say I'm very impressed with this shelter. One Tigress has carefully thought about the way that this tent is made, the way that it sets up. The ventilation here is incredible. Without a doubt, some of the best that I've ever seen with a four person tent. With the Jovian tent set up now completely, I have to say I'm very impressed with how large this tent is. I've tested out plenty of four person tents, but none are as big as this. The walls are almost vertical. The peak height is very good. The ventilation is awesome. Going over the features of the fly itself, we have a storm flap that goes over each of the doors and we do have two doors with this tent. With each of the doors, we have vents. In each of the corners of this tent, we have guy lines. Now that we have the tent fully set up and we've taken a look at it, we've looked at the features, let's go over the stats real quick. This is a three season tent a four person tent and it is semi free standing, meaning you can set up the tent without any tent stakes, but the doors do need to be staked out for optimal performance. As far as the materials go, the fly is a 210 taffeta polyester. The inner is a 210 Oxford polyester. The zippers are YNS instead of YKK and we have aluminum poles and tent stakes. The hydrostatic head rating for this tent or the waterproof rating for this tent, in other words, the fly is 2000 millimeters and the body is 5000 millimeters. When the tent is stored, it is 21 inches long, 10 inches by 10 inches. When it comes to weight, you're looking at 12.3 pounds on my scale. As far as price goes, at the time of filming, it is $220 on Amazon. As far as colors go, at the time of filming, coyote brown only. If you decide to purchase this tent, this is what is included. You get the storage bag, the tent inner, the fly, you also get the footprint, you get two poles, and you get 16 tent stakes, along with some additional guy lines. As far as my impressions go of this tent so far, I have to say I am very, very, very impressed. There is nothing about this tent that I do not like, with the exception of one slight thing, and I don't believe it's going to be a problem, but it does need to be mentioned, and I'll talk about that in just a minute. But as it stands right now with my first look of this tent, I'm very impressed. The company did everything right as far as the tent design goes. The sides pull out, it's covered in mesh. This is a three season tent and it's gonna perform extremely well. I'm talking about ventilation, moisture control, condensation control, and so on. It really is amazing to me how many companies get these aspects wrong. They'll create these tents and they don't have the flies pulling away from the body. So when there's condensation on the inside, it drips right into the inner. It's just amazing to me how many companies make tent products and they don't actually use them, they don't test them out. Luckily here, again, One Tigress has done everything right. As far as the quality goes of this tent, it looks fantastic. I've seen no issues when it comes to loose threads, nothing like that. All of the seams are taped, the tape looks good. There's no issues here that I can spot with my eyes. The next step is to get this out, to rain test it, to see how well it performs. But from this perspective, it looks good. As far as the setup process goes for this tent, think of it as your typical two-person tent, except it's bigger. Plain and simple. Overall, the setup process is nice and easy. The breakdown process is nice and easy. As far as space goes, this is a true four-person tent. You can have four sleeping pads inside of this. You can have two cots inside of this. Without a doubt, you can have a table and chair and you can sit inside of this tent while it's raining outside and you'll be perfectly comfortable. You can't stand up in this tent 
but you can easily hunch over, walk in, move around. The amount of space inside of this really is impressive. There's a ton of space inside of this tent. In fact, there's more space inside of this than your typical four-person tent. As far as appearances go, I give this tent an A+. I like this color combination a lot. We have the coyote brown outside, black inner. It looks sharp. With that being said though, I would love to see an urban gray version of this tent. Right now, for whatever reason, I'm really digging that urban gray color. But as is, this is great. The fact that the company included a ground sheet with this tent at this price, that's nice as well. Something else this company has done right as far as the stakeout points with the fly goes, each of the stakeout points feature shock cord. That way you could stake out the fly and as the material stretches, it will stay taut. It really is a smart decision of one tigress to do that. As far as the stored size of this tent goes, it is quite large. At the same time, this tent is quite heavy. With that being said, as soon as you consider the size of this tent, the height of this tent, it does make sense that the storage size is so large and also why the tent is so heavy. And that takes us over to the con that I have for this tent, the only con, zippers. The company used YNS zippers. YNS zippers are not known for the best of quality. They are certainly not the same as YKK zippers. And there have been many, many reports of failures from YNS zippers. This is something that I'm going to test out and monitor, and I will report on this in the future if I have any sort of issues. With that being said, everyone, it's time to wrap up this episode. I've talked way too much. Now it's your turn to sound off in the comment section down below. Share your thoughts. What do you all think about the Cosmito 4.0? Oh, I'm sorry. The Jovian four-person tent. My bad. I'm impressed, everybody, and I cannot wait to take this out on a trip coming up soon. I tell you what, everyone. Let me say this. It feels like recently I've been harping on One Tigress quite a bit. But the thing is this. When there's issues with products, when designs don't make sense, I'm going to say so. I'm going to be honest. I'm glad to see that with the Jovian tent, everything here, it makes sense. In fact, it is smartly designed. So, good work, One Tigress. Everyone, I appreciate you. Before you go, hit the thumbs up. Oh, yeah. Strength and honor, folks. Bye for now.